temperature for today. We are looking pretty nice weather wise for your Easter Sunday. Happy Easter. And we are looking at a very nice day with highs in the 60s. One thing to watch for is we do have elevated fire danger, especially south and east of Denver, where we could be talking about some gusts up to the 50 mile an hour range in a few spots. That will lead to some of those elevated fire danger concerns. Temperatures right now are mostly in the 30s and 40s eastern plains. A few spots already at 50. Trinidad and Grand Junction are warm spots so far on this Easter morning. Congratulations to you. Otherwise, highs for today, we will get up to near 70 for us here in Denver, 67. But in fact, we have not hit 70 so far this year, which is quite unusual. More on that in the next few minutes. But we do have an afternoon shower possible for us after about 6 p.m. or so. Again, the wind will be the thing you notice a bit more today compared to yesterday. Yesterday was breezy. Today, I would classify as more windy. You will notice the wind out there, and that does elevate our fire danger. Highs today, 60s, 70s, eastern plains. There's that fire weather warning, red flag warning. Same thing for the southeastern plains. That is for winds that gust up to 50 miles an hour, and that goes from the Palmer Divide on south and east. So just be careful out there. Anything with a spark outdoors has the potential to turn into a fire and spread quickly. Wind gusts for us. Notice that in Denver. Again, 34, 35 mile an hour wind. That is something that you are going to notice as you head through the afternoon. Good news is those winds die down tonight. So that wind, that stronger wind, is fairly short lived. AC Doppler radar showing us some fairly low impact snow for us here along the I 70 corridor. I've uh, been looking at the webcams all morning. Vail Pass, wet roads. Same for us at the Eisenhower Johnson Tunnels. So if you're driving to or from uh, the mountains today, okay for now. But we do get a surge of some heavier snow that's going to push through later on this afternoon and this evening. So, again, snow right now, fairly low impact later on through the day, heavier snow. And that could mean some quick accumulations on I-70 and 285 this afternoon. So I think ski traffic could be a bit rough this afternoon. You might want to skip that last run or two, as Mark Salinger always says, uh, this afternoon uh, for us. We do have that potential for some slick spots later on through the evening. Winter weather advisory for the San Juans and winter storm warning. Winter Storm watch uh, for the Sanger de Cristos. Tonight, temperatures drop back to around freezing. Chance for some showers, mostly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, temperatures a bit colder than today. Mid-40s for us, mostly cloudy skies and a rain-snow mix. Still a bit breezy out there for tomorrow. Highs about 15 degrees below our seasonal average of around 60 degrees for your April the 1st, April Fool's Day tomorrow. You have been warned. Remember those pranks for tomorrow. Meantime, rain-snow mix for us in the Denver area. Uh, we'll probably start as some rain and then flip over to snow. A slushy snow for us here into the Denver area, but a low impact one. Foothills above 7,000 feet, that's where you're looking at slick spots on the roads. But showers for tonight for us in the Denver area, maybe a clap of thunder after about 6 p.m. or so. Then tomorrow, we'll pull in some colder air. Then we'll probably see some rain, some snow during the day tomorrow. I'm not worried about during the day tomorrow. It's tomorrow night, mainly above 6,000 feet, where we could see some slushy accumulations. How much? Not much with this one. I think we're talking about maybe one or two inches for us in the foothills above 6,000 feet. Boulder, maybe one or two inches on your tops and your grass. But this is mainly on grass and colder surfaces. Roads should stay mainly wet. Denver, a little bit of some slush on your car top and your grass. That's pretty much all she wrote from this one. Then as we get into the middle of the week, temperatures in the 60s and 70s. And fun fact, we have still not hit 70 degrees so far this year. This will end up being our latest first 70-degree reading since 1983 for us, even if we get there mid-next week.